Hey guys, welcome to Expose Your Talent Online with MyArtistPortfolio.com. My name is Orit Eslin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own website. But before I get started on that, I want to tell you why you need a website. So let's go through five separate reasons. There's a lot more, but for this video, I'm going to stick to five. So one, it allows you to create a name for yourself. So if you want to be known as a singer, model, actress, photographer, comedian, or any other artist, you want to be able to promote yourself and your talent to as many people as possible. Having a website allows you to do that. It allows you to reach people that you've never been able to reach and it allows you to build connections that you never would have been able to have. So, two. It allows you to build your credibility. Having a website is like marking your territory in the digital world. It allows you to set up yourself and have other people come visit your website and get to know you more. They get to know your biography, how you started. They get to see your talent online with online videos that you will put on your website. They get to come to know you and your story and what you do, which improves your credibility. Three, a website allows you to put your best foot forward. What I mean by that is that it allows you to set up in advance your work and who you are in the best, showcasing this in the best manner as possible. So if you're a photographer, you can put your best photos up. If you're an artist, you can put your masterpiece up that you're most proud of. If you're an actor, you can put a video showcasing your best monologue performance or a singer, your best uh, singing performance. So there's the fourth reason as well. Your information is available at all times. Think about that. Your website is accessible 24-7. It's working up there for you all day, every day. It's kind of like having your own marketing representative person putting your name out there, creating a fan base for you, all while you're sleeping. So having this ability uh, to put your website and your information up there available at all times breaks down the restrictions of time and it also breaks down the restrictions of location. So if you're trying to promote yourself um, in, in one city that you're living in, that doesn't matter now because if you're living in Vancouver, people in Morocco and Tokyo can come see you on your website. Very, very powerful for creating exposure for yourself. And the fifth reason, bonus, you save money. So having a website allows you to save money because it allows you to reach an audience and market yourself to that audience with a very small investment. So you don't have to worry about printing as many headshots or resumes. You don't have to worry about the overhead costs of having a store or a studio because it's all going to be on your website. So I'm sure by now you're all revved up and ready to get started in setting up your website. So let's do just that and I'll see you on the screen. Alright, so let's get started. Thanks for joining me here on the screen. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to open up the internet browser just because Jewel has way too many things on her desktop here. Yeah, it kind of looks messy. A lot more messier than my desktop. Don't tell her I said that. Okay, well, anyways, to set up your website, you need two things. A web host and a domain name. A web host is a service that allows you to store and present your fabulous website on the internet for everyone to see. And a domain name is your web address or your URL, which is something that most of you guys know you enter up here in your address bar in your internet browser. So make sure you choose your domain name wisely because you can't change it after it's purchased. Remember to keep it simple and in line with your brand as an artist or performer. So I suggest using whatever name you present yourself with, whether it's your own name, like for example, Jewel and I have our own websites, aridaslin.com, and we have uh, jeweltalentino.com as well. 
um, or you can use your business name as well. You can use a website like checkdomain.com to find out whether your chosen name is available before you go ahead and commit to it. So like I said, we like to use checkdomain.com which is a website where you can use to brainstorm different names to see if they're available. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, go in through an example here with you. I'm just going to think of a random name here, kimhunt.com. Let's see if that's available. So you just enter it in and you click enter and it'll tell you the domain you requested has already been registered. So what if you run into a problem like this where the domain name you want is already taken? Well, you kind of have to get a little bit creative and try and think of different variations using the name you want. So for example, I see some people use their name but they just have a little dash in between. So kim-hunt.com and you can enter that to see if that's available. And in this case it is. Or you can do something else and uh, whatever you choose just remember to keep it in line with who you are. Uh, what type of artist you are, what your brand is, just in general. For example, if you wanted to choose kimthesinger.com, uh, you could also try that out. So, um, and it's available. So, you can just keep on trying different variations here just to get an idea of what's out there, what's available for you. You can either find a web host that includes a free domain name, or you can purchase your domain name separately and have it hosted somewhere else. So I'm going to go over briefly both options with you so you get an idea of what's best for you. If you do choose to go with a web host that includes a free domain name, we highly recommend using Lunar Pages. We use them to host all of our sites and find them to be quite reliable. When you sign up, you get a free domain name for the first year. You get unlimited email accounts, unlimited storage, so you can put up as many videos, pictures, and audio as you want without any restrictions. So the link to the Lunar Pages site is in the resource links section below this video, or you can find the link on our toolkit page. And I'm just going to take you through that route here. So. Our website, acetinoconnections.com, is actually our blog website, and I want to show you the toolkit page. The toolkit page is basically a list that we put together of um, resources that uh, and services that we personally use, and we would uh, highly recommend to any artists and performers who are trying to promote themselves online. So like I said, there's website tools here, there's books that we've read, there's um, many other different things here as well. So you can take a look at that at your, on your own time. But I just want to direct your attention here to the Lunar Pages link under Website Tools. So let's click on that. And it'll take you directly to the Lunar Pages homepage where you can scroll down here and see the different options that you have for web hosting. So I'm assuming that uh, as an artist or performer you're watching this, um, it may be, this may all be new to you or you just want to set up a personal website or simple blog site for you to promote yourself. And in that case you would just go for the basic web hosting. So you can go ahead and click on that. And uh, once you open this up, you see uh, a description of the basic web hosting package. You can go through the different tabs here, features, technology, um, and it'll just basically tell you what's included. So like I said, here there's free domain name, unlimited email address. Once you've done a bit of research on here and you're ready to go ahead and commit to that, you can just click on the Buy Now button and it'll show you the different price options that you have. So you saw on the previous page there it said starting at $4.95 per month. But once you open that up, the amount of uh, time that you commit to having that hosting service depends on what you're going to pay. So for example, I'm going to scroll down here. When you choose your billing cycle, 
you'll see here you'll have different options and you're going to be paying for that up front. So if you commit to one year of hosting, it'll turn out to be $8.95 per month. If you go for the five years, then that will turn out to be $4.95 per month. So uh, just be aware of that. You can choose whichever billing cycle you want. And like I said, you will be paying for that up front, the full amount. Um, and you basically just go through the entire page here filling out the form. These options here that you see are just additives that you can add on to your monthly payment if you like and you just hit continue and it'll go over to another page where you enter in your, more of your personal information. So that's really simple there. If, however, you've already bought a domain name or you have your heart completely set on a particular host that does not provide a free domain name for whatever reason, you will need to go through a different process which is a little more complex and more work than the first. This is because once you've bought your domain name, you'll need to tell it to park itself on the host server you chose to go with. So if you bought a domain at godaddy.com, for example, you will need to go into the managing options for your domain name once you've logged in to your GoDaddy account and set the name servers to point to your host. The name server's information should have been provided to you upon signing up for hosting. So like I said, this method is a bit more complicated if you're a beginner. Uh, there's lots of resources online to help you with that as well, but if you do get stuck or if you just can't be bothered with the time commitment in setting any of this up, then we can host your domain on our server at Lunar Pages for $6 a month. So we'll do all the setup for you. We'll provide uh, everything that Lunar Pages does as well. We'll provide the unlimited storage and email accounts and also our personal full support for you for $6 a month. If you do want to go with this option, then just shoot us an email at info at .com with hosting in the subject line and uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Well, that's all for this video guys. Um, this is a video, like I said, we showed you how to set up your website and I hope you did find this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.